My dudes, we're back again. Uh, back at Prop Fabworks again. I don't know how the lighting is here. It's probably pretty crappy and pretty dark. And now it's beautiful and bright. Way more excited. Cheers. So Anthony, in the last video you guys saw, Anthony was working on the floor to get the tilt and pedal assembly mounted. Well, it's finally ready to test fit. Let's check it out and uh, Anthony will run us through kind of what he did. Tony. what I do? Tony Baloney, what'd make, you do? I make fit. You make fit? I make fit. You make what fit? Cut this plate out, we ended up drilling and taffing them so that we can directly bolt the pedal down to the floor. Okay. Got it all tacked up, got it tapped and now we're going to test it. Nice. So if you remember the floor had giant holes in it, they're all rusted out. And so we got a steel plate. The idea that we had was let's grab a steel plate and what we'll do is we'll repatch the floor and we'll build a structure that the tilt and pedal assembly could be bolted to. So this is going to be the first test fit of the pedal assembly. Boom bada boom, Mr. Worldwide. Let's go cycle. Great. Right. Too much. Gasolina. Mucho gusto. Got all the gas. Dude, that looks good. So now that that's fitted and whatnot, all there is left to do is weld in the plate, huh? Yep. And then for the pedal assembly to the OEM uh, throttle bracket back there. Yep, that one there. We are going to be installing these bearings and the way that's gonna work is we're gonna allow the pedal to roll on the other one so it's nice and smooth and then we'll adjust the pedal so it's making contact with the OEM uh, hinge back there and it should be pretty dialed. Then we can utilize an OEM throttle cable as well from the BMW. So I'm pretty stoked, that's actually gangster. After this is all welded in intact then we can finish plumbing. And the next thing to do after this is uh, Mount the reservoir. Yep. Sick. So the floor wasn't completely cleared of contamination as far as like the rust and stuff, but Tony's got the plate welded in, did pretty good for what he was dealt. He's got a lot more welding to do. He's got to finish up all these relief cuts that we did to get the floor to sit properly and seal up. But what I wanted to show you real quick, uh, so just so we can get out of his hair, let me see if we can, let's see if I can get you back there. Voila, is the bearing to pedal setup that we did. Operates super smooth and it's just the bearing against the back side of the pedal. Um, we'll have to figure out if that's good enough or if we have to make some more adjustments, but it's really smooth. Um, and we put the pedal up against it so it shouldn't it shouldn't really rattle or do anything. Obviously once we have the throttle cable and all that in there we'll have to make some more adjustments but for now that's pretty damn smooth dude. Probably the smoothest pedal I'm gonna have in any of my cars to be honest. Clean. Good job Tony. What are you doing Tony? Walking that day. So I know it's supposed to be like an AO driver thing that I told you and I wasn't gonna drift it all in one more. Well that might have changed just a little bit. Listen, uh, even if we're gonna go mess around like out in the toges or have fun and drive around the city, I don't really care about having a welded diff in the car. It's obviously like part of my nature now. But uh we had to weld a diff. But before we get a beautiful like B-roll of Tony uh, welding, we need to show you everything that they have done to the car. Franklin, do you want to walk us through it while Tony does his thing? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Yeah? Okay. Oh, look. You like? You like? Built this radiator from complete scratch. Okay. Rebuilt those beams. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, let me just chop this up. Put a nice little cap with the breather on there. and Boom. I'm going to break that for you for the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can pop it off. Does the things. Yeah. And then uh, got ourselves some AN lines. Did all the Phoenix stuff with chopped, the bungs. Chopped and welded, and then uh, gonna have to do some plumbing, which is gonna be done by your That's team. gonna be me, yeah. <laughs> so we got all the, everything lined up. 
I've got all the ANs all welded on the factory side on the top and the bottom. Here's a turn. And then we can move Super to clean. The, move to the interior. Of That's the pretty room. much a cooling system. Yeah, so the cooling system <clears throat> will be done after. Yeah, after I do the pipes and. Mine's done. It's done. Okay. The there room. it is. So, difference from last time. Floor is completely welded in now. Uh, pedals are completely mounted. The bearing, obviously, you saw all that. And then uh, Frankie made a sick little bracket with some rib nuts to mount our Tilton Reservoir. So lines will come off of these and then go down over to our masters and then from our masters up to the bulkheads over there. So all that stuff's in there. But I really like this floor mount setup, dude. Like the more I look at it and the more I see like how it's all put together, I'm probably going to end up doing floor mounted setups in like the rest of my cars. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade mine. That's like the way to go, boys. So the Tilton Series 600 floor mounted master underfoot setup like this uh, is definitely the way to go, especially if you're a taller dude. They, they also make it the other way around too, where the pedals are forward and the masters are further in. But this is going to be sick, especially once the little lid is made and you have like a little foot plant area. That's going to be dope. So now I can plumb. Yeah, like, clean. Yeah, it came out super clean. But now that this is all here. It's all plumbing for you. And that's all there. Now I get to plumb. Yeah. It's all plumbing. So that's awesome though because obviously you can't do too much plumbing without your main pieces mounted. So, so with the pedal assembly being all in and that and then the cooling system uh, being all a and up, then now it's just a matter of finishing up all these Phoenix lines. Uh, and then we're going to do a, a reservoir for the overflow that'll come over here and be mounted somewhere over there. So I have a couple ideas for it, what we're going to do exactly. We'll see. But yeah, got to get a fan. Got a wire in the fan, I think, on that. Or there's another switch over here for a fan. And then bada boom, bada bam. We'll be ready to go. Oh, and then Tony's welding the diff so that we can do drift boy things if we want to. Well, here's a sick little montage of uh, all the work that got done. Well, there you have it. So the proper boys did their uh, touches on the E30. There's a couple more things that we'll end up coming back for, like an exhaust. Um, and I think, I think that's pretty much it. So we'll be back for an exhaust with them. Uh, but now we get to go home and plumb it. The one thing I'm waiting on is the drive shaft, which should be done in a few days. Once that comes back in, I'll throw the drive shaft in and the diff in. Then we go on to plumbing. I have to plumb the cooling lines and I gotta plumb the uh, brake line. From there, I think the harness will be the harness will be back and then once the harness gets back i think we could pretty much fire it and go drive it we should be driving soon we should be driving soon as always thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel don't forget to give the boys from proper some love also if you haven't already subscribed don't miss out on any of the episodes coming out on the e30 uh check out some of the other videos we've built a few different cars so make sure you check those out as well and uh stay safe boys we'll see you all right guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel in another way, you can head to holdfast-usa.com, buy anything on the website, it helps us keep this content coming to you. Huge thanks to the sponsors as well who support all these different series that we want to bring you guys. Give them a follow, give them a like, tell them Micah sent you. As always, boys, stay safe.